Nearly two weeks ago, two Illyria boys were hit by a car while riding their bikes. One of the boys died from his injuries. And today, our Lindsay Buckingham spoke with his mother, who shares what made him so special. Aiden Helland is smiling again, nearly two weeks after an accident caused him serious injuries and took the life of his friend, nine-year-old Bryant Tide Bartlett. He gave all the officers hugs and thank yous, and it, it just meant the world to us that we could do something positive for him. By gifting him a new bike and helmet, thanks to Walmart, and new bike locks, lights, and safety items, thanks to the Lorain County Health Department's Safe Routes to School program. Aiden is such a brave young boy for, you know, standing there and, and being willing to ride again. You know, that's just an amazing uh, display of his resiliency. Especially after losing his friend, a boy whose smile lit up a room and spread joy everywhere he went. He'd do anything to make anybody laugh and no matter the situation. Tide's mom, Sarah Jobst, knows this the most, but so do many others. Just the amount of outpouring and support and love that reminds me that he touched so many lives in his short nine years. Still, it's beyond challenging to imagine life without her son. I was literally, I mean, less than 50 yards away from him and I couldn't save him. Like, it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, I'd trade my place with him in a moment. There is no way to take the pain away but Sarah says she takes comfort in knowing Tide did the right thing that day. But I know his heart and I know without a shadow of a doubt that he did exactly as he was taught. Yet there will always be lessons to learn in his honor. For years in this country, we've been saying that safety and roadway safety is everyone's responsibility. But there's healing too, through Tide's legacy and the friend who will carry it on forever. You see the smile and the joy in their face that you were able to help them. It's, it's why police, police men and women get into this line of work because they truly want to help the community. Well, Elyria police tell us they are still investigating the accident. So far, no charges have been filed. Coming up at six, we'll hear more from Tide's mom and Lorain County Public Health about what they're doing to promote safety on the roads. I mean, you, you have to think forward on this and say, you know what, that family's going to save lives now. They're going to take this tragedy and save lives. Absolutely. And I just love how Aiden had the bravery to get mm -hmm. back on a bike again. Mm. Not only was that brave for himself, but also he's doing that to carry on Tide's legacy. Sure. Yeah, that had, it's got to be very difficult, but uh, it's a brave move from a brave young man. Yeah. Lindsay, thanks. Brave. You bet, guys. Thanks.